hope everyone has their bingo cards. I hope so too, <laughs> because we're live. Howdy, howdy. It's be amazing. <laughs> My yes. name is Garrick, and tonight we're sampling John Company's second edition, 1813 post Monopoly scenario. Uh, we're using the most current version of the rules, which have not been updated since last week, as far as I'm aware. So, you know, same rules, same mistakes. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. John Company is, of course, by Cole Worley and Worley Gig Games. And joining me tonight are Drew. Hello. Lily. Howdy, howdy. And Luke. <laughs> Hello. And uh, with that, I think there's nothing more to do than to... Uh, Prep your bingo cards if they weren't already prepped, Gorky. We're just going to have to miss out on those juicy things that we fulfilled. How do you, what's the terminology for like accomplishing bingo spots? This is not relevant. Let's just get started. Don't you stamp them? <laughs> <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that what you do? You stamp a bingo? I honestly don't know because I'm not, you know, 80 years old. <laughs> Oh, that's my fiance. She <laughs> she told me she wants to go to a bingo night with me. She's like, it's the most so much fun. I'm like, you're 25. Like, come on. <laughs> She's an old lady at heart. Honestly, I sympathize with that. I am a grouchy old man at heart. Uh, but we really should get started. I was about to ask, are yep, you sure you're see. not 80 years old, Garrick? <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Let's I can't started. prove that I'm not. <laughs> we'll neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> Okay, we're, I start, right, as chairman? Uh, yes. Correct. I'm going to enlist a writer. What? Preposterous. Doom. Done. Um, I have no dollars. Let's... We'll get an officer. <laughs> Yes, Gorky, basically. <laughs> they have like three positions between the two of them. It's very weird. <laughs> this is a weird one. Um, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> this is a bingo hall right here. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> I get it. It took me a second. <laughs> I'm going to do officers. I was like, what do retirees have to do with bingo? Oh, they're old. I get it. <laughs> um, and I am also going to buy a workshop from Calico Axe. Gross. Must be nice having money. Must be nice having a firm. Oh, right. I was like, wait, why is that in a different location than Garrick's when I looked at the board? And it's because he's a firm. I mean, you can all flip over your boards if you want to. You're allowed to do it whenever you want. No. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to enlist a writer. I'm also glad they kept the portraits, Quirky. It. Yeah, the portraits would have been a big loss. It would have been a big loss. I just, I feel like they should just be everywhere. Anyway, uh, is that our family phase? I think so. On to the firm's phase. Uh, would anyone like to... Derek, would your firm like to be better than it currently is? <laughs> Derek, I also would... Could you make the firm better than it already is? Derek, you sure I you can't make the can firm better than it is. Can afford to do that, Luke? <laughs> I got... I know. I don't know if I can or not. I'm not sure that risk. you can take that risk. <laughs> big risk. But I would invest, Garrick. Um, I don't know how much I like that. What do you mean you don't like that? Your options are me I said, or I Luke. I don't know how much I like that. And Luke Completely is winning. Completely different. I, I didn't say I liked <laughs> Luke investing. That wasn't like the alternative. He wants but you literally there. just asked, would anyone like to invest? No, I no, no. I was starting to say, would anyone like to form a firm or invest or do any of that stuff? Oh, OK. You were just announcing the window. Yes, I, I was announcing the timing window. And then you were like, I'm Drew, so I'm going to immediately start negotiating. <laughs> I agree with you, Luke. I can't help myself. It's in my nature. <laughs> Lily, next turn, we can form our bingo firm. 
Mm, Sounds okay. good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I'm thinking through the math now. I do probably need more than just my own investment if we're going to get this baby cooking. Um, That's right. I can give you quite a bit of startup capital, in fact. Mm, quite a bit. Indeed, indeed. I see that. You also, you have a lot of stake in the company. Which makes your interests divided, maybe. Mm, well, I don't know. I like to hedge my bets. <laughs> Are we just, did we just flip seats from last game? Is that what this is? Yeah, yeah pretty much. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I have your position from last game. And you definitely have my position from last game. And you guys didn't win. The benefit of already having the firm. <laughs> yeah, of neither of us won, it. did we? To be so. fair. I, no. I started with the firm True. from the opening cards. True. Oh, yeah, I guess that does make it slightly different. Yeah, it's not exactly the same, but you having just the, the governor general, basically, and nothing else, and a pile of shipyards, <laughs> is like, oh, very, very reminiscent of the last game. Um... One, two, three. Drew, I'll take one of your investments if it's from the court of directors. Would you take one of mine if it's from the court of directors? Mm. What about one of mine from the court of directors? You don't have one of the court of directors. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should stay in the court just to be able to counter Luke locking down the chairmanship forever in case that becomes necessary. So I would do a workshop. Mm. Luke is offering to do one of his court shares. I think I like. I mean, if Luke he does a court share, more. then I would do a court share. But then, do you really want him in your company when he already has four VP? I mean, it's not preferable, which is why I'd rather do it with you, Drew. You have first choice here. But if you're passing because you don't want to do a court share, then Luke is offering a court share. Um, I don't know why we could just do both. I don't think I need two investments from you. I want one. That's the thing. No, you could you could do one court share for me and then one court share from Luke. Oh. And then the <laughs> we will maintain the balance of the force and you can have uh three ships and still sail. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> this is this is certainly not 1822. <laughs> 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 um Drew, we don't need three ships. Uh, we don't need that many investments. We're fine being lean and mean at the moment. Well, I'm certainly uh, going to invest in myself. Garrett, but, but Garrick, Drew's so good at figuring out how to destroy companies. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> if last game was any indication. <laughs> Me rolling lots of dice in the company is going to be great for you, Garrick. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh, I need Derek to... offer still out. Yeah, I'm thinking. All right, Drew, last chance to invest with a court share going once. Going twice. No, I do workshop. All right, well, Luke, it's yours. Okay, so this goes away right up yep. here. And um... you get one of my shares. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and spend. I don't flip bucks. my board right. My board stays like this. You, you should do whatever flip you your board okay. because you might end up with private firm dividends. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Um, so you're going to want to have a counter in there. Yeah. Um, so the real question is, do I start a competing firm? That would be entertaining. Would I can't be. help with anything, so... I can do it myself. I, can, I have a workshop and a share, which gets me 10. That's true. Uh, and I can buy my own boat. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? It failed miserably last time, so I'm going to try it again. <laughs> <laughs> All 
I'm going to make this single owner mini sh mini firm work, damn it. <laughs> if it's the last <laughs> thing I do. Where'd the shares go? Shit. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm flipping a workshop and removing a share for two investments. Mother. <laughs> I need to lock that down before I. <laughs> there we go. Um, where is the constant friend? It is in the east. Okay. Uh, so I invested twice. I had 10. That cost three. So I'm at seven. Uh, the shipping office is at... You bought... I bought two were these, in the company. Uh, fitted or unfitted, Garrick, your two ships? They were fitted in the company. So shipping's going to get okay, money so for all three shipping ships. Shipping gets nine total. Oof. Okie dokie. Uh, shall we move on to firm strategy? Um, well, first you have to create your janky hidden zone box. On no, you don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> Calling it janky. <laughs> Doesn't appreciate my work. Just put it off to the side. It'll be so much easier. Boom. Done. Look how easy that was. Jank. Okay. Firm strategy time. Oh, right. Um, I'm bidding. Uh, I've decided how much I'm bidding. If you're still thinking. Hmm. I am still thinking, yeah. Uh... Uh, okay, yeah, that's right. Hmm. Mm, yeah, okay, I'm good. All right, I'm good. Cool. Uh, on to All hiring. Right. Uh, Nothing we, to hire. So on to chairman. Okay. Hmm. So do do? I don't know that we really need any debt, to be honest. Because, like, shipping can pretty much... Yeah, we def there's definitely enough money to buy enough ships to like basically cover all of these orders between just these two regions. This one's closed, so uh, well, it has two ships in it already, but like basically, Lily needs to go open it to get that region open. So I don't know if she's gonna bother doing that. Yeah, so we don't really need to take that because we could just give what we need to give one. How much do we need to give to shipping to get them? Because they need it's five per, right? Um, so they need. Well, at least I think one. ideally the company fills three, four, I think seven. So yeah, we yeah we only need four ships and fourteen is plenty. 
Oh no, shoot! Because it's there's a there are no unfitted. There's one unfitted chip. Uh, so that costs three. Then we have eleven. Uh, we could get a company ship for another five, which leaves us with six. And then we could get like basically two temporary ships. And yeah, and then that that gets us to all seven of these orders effectively. Okay, so we don't need to do it. Oh shoot! Actually, Garrick is governor general. He's probably going to move his two ship. He's probably going to take two ships into his own superintendent's probably office. Probably correct. Uh, so, um, so maybe it's take, worth taking one debt just yeah. to buy more ships. I think that's fine. We're not doing much. And then we can put basically like let's see, he could do two transfers. So I think we should count on only having one boat <laughs> between these two regions, which means yeah. we need six more. So if Am we I just put all, all ten in? in, yeah, then that gets us uh what does that get us? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there's the, yeah, there's I mean, the bingo spot. Uh, I mean, you, that gets uh, us four. That would, in theory, get us four ships company ships and, and two, two temporaries. That which works is enough. Yep, okay. that works. Okay, Governor General. Um, I forget, do I take the governor actions now, or is it... I think it's now. Yes, they're yeah. now. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to read this iconography. Like, iconography for the first time ever, really. And it's like, is this two plus an extra die for each region? Is that how that reads? Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> that's how I played it last game. <laughs> that's Here, how you... Give me one second. I'll find it. I'll double check. I'm, I'm pretty uh, sure that's right. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Going yeah. off of so memory. So you should be getting five. I just, I'm at the point where I'm playing half this game straight from memory and the other half from yeah, checking so things on the true. game, on the map, forward table. That's yeah, the You word. take dice equal to the number of company controlled regions plus two. Okay. Yeah. But if you fail, one unrest in every. How many do we region. control? Three? Is that it? Yep. Okay. So. Three, four, five. Let's roll better than Drew last game. I see a success. Ooh, that's annoying. Um, so that's one pound. And let's. I can't tell, Garrick. Did you not want a success there? No, uh, the annoying was the how few successes I rolled. See? Ah, yeah. Does it? I don't think it matters. For it doesn't matter. Time. It's just scary. <laughs> oh, I see. What do I want to do? Darn governor actions, they're all helpful. Why do we want that? That's super taxing. Yeah, it still gives money to the company. True. Oh yeah, don't worry, Gorky. This is the die that's getting out of the pool right now. That one is staying in there. Uh, that was my mistake last game when, <laughs> when I first did governor. <laughs> I removed all the dice that were successful, and then the <laughs> next time I did the opposite, and it went much better. Let's um, <laughs> let's throw a regiment into here and do it again. That's a success. We'll throw another one at Bombay. Uh, and I think we'll try one more time. Uh, 
adds normal failure. So we get an unrest in each re region. Yep. And we're just going to leave it at that. Uh, then I can transfer two pieces. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just steal these company ships for China. Yep. It's a noble cause. All right, that's Governor General all done. So on to shipping. Yep. Um... Hmm. Okay, Lily. Do you want anything to go impose order in Bengal? Um, or yes. would you be willing to? Uh, I, I'm always willing to do things. Um, what do I want? It turns out the infamous traffic was bingo all along. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I would give you. I don't know. I'd definitely give you my two or less, actually. To impose order? In Bengal, yeah. Can you just uh, walk me through how imposing order works again? Uh, so it's you just commit officers and then okay. roll that many dice. There's no penalty uh, okay. to it. And then if you're successful, every uh, piece that went is going to get one pound. And then uh, it clears all the closed orders and removes unrest. Yeah, I can impose order. Bengal. Okay. You want the two or less? Yes. All right. Well, in that case, uh, we can probably afford to put a third ship in Bengal. Um, so maybe we only... Let's see. Okay, well, we're going to do three company ships. Uh, yeah, we're going to do three company ships for sure. So that gets us down to nine. One, two, three. So we put some in there and some in there. Uh, ideally, we want to get down to the six from Bombay. Um, yep. So that's good. So we need uh, we need two more here, or we need one more in the south. Oh, and one more in the east to get to the four. And that's pretty much all we need, actually. So in that you case, you do one more company, and uh oh, in the west over here. Or I was just saying, you yeah, either you could do, yeah, you could either do one more in the west. I'm just looking at how much money you have left in that because you have enough for one company and two extra. So unless you want to carry some over, but yeah, I think it might be smart to carry them over oh okay. lily you have an unfitted ship i do have an unfitted ship oh uh, we had talked about that before <laughs> so um you're, you're... i think i can't what are the rules again i can never remember these damn rules i you can't buy what can i not do before while they're you have to do a fitting ship. ships before you do um company ships so we have to right. pay three i thought it was it. extras no it's companies you do this it's every companies. time <laughs> okay, cool. so there's that one <laughs> so three <laughs> less um yeah so that does leave us with uh we can do a company another company yeah i think that's probably the best we'll leave one in there and it'll go over here so that's three two yep that'll work okie dokie lily's up for uh, Commander in Chief. Wow, I can never remember this either. The they invade in this order, right? Or do they all go right now with? No, they invade guys? in order. Don't forget elephants right here. 
Okay. True facts. Girl. Also remember, Lily, you don't have any shares in this company. I don't. Well, you're about you're about to. Lily's got lots of writers that will eventually become prominent in this company because she's no competition. That's still not shares. (laughs) Yeah, it's it's incentive. Um. I only got two transfers. Two transfers, and then you commit what's in the officers and training box. I feel like we just need a good display of colors here. <laughs> um, did the loot get updated? Oh, yeah, I think it's I higher across it the board. It's a little yeah, higher. Yeah, I was like, fives and sevens are all I'm seeing. And I was like, there's a three and a was, four, but still, it's mainly fives and sevens. Was that the update since last week? Seven. Yeah, because I know when I took over Delhi last week, it was only six. Yeah, it was only six. That's nice. Oh, okay, that was in the past oh. week. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that at the top then. I thought that was before our last stream. But no, loot, loot did get updated across the board to be a little bit higher. I didn't realize Delhi was so juicy. That's pretty cool. I think Cole realized that nobody was going up there ever in any games whatsoever. So he he made it worth it. It should be lucrative up there. I mean, what stinks also yeah. is it used to be lucra- more lucrative in the terms of what you got for getting filling orders up there. Mm-hmm. And they kind of he kind of took that away. I mean, this is a seven now. That's been like a True. six or a seven for a long time. I think this one was like a nine. I think up here was like crazy. It was like a nine and a Oh, jeez. Yeah, I think I dare bad was it not a five before. That's that's huge. What was it before? Like a three, a two? Yeah, I, I remember it being pretty low in high dare bed. Yeah. Good old beer dad. Two or something. I'm done. You're done? OK, uh, so commander of Bombay, Lily. God damn it. <laughs> you are not done. <laughs> yeah, you have decisions to make. I hate decisions. All right, I want to go rating. Rating a rating. <laughs> oh, wait, Drew must be happy. We're playing Pen Dragon. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Uh, this is why I wish the commanders was still around because there's, I don't actually know. There's a card for it. Is it this one over here? Yeah, here you go. You need this. Thank you. I don't know what the heck I'm doing with militaries. All right. Um, so you can either invade or open orders. Those are your two actions. Okay. Wait. Um, but then what was the thing that Drew was telling me to do? Is You can impose order. Which open is the, oh, it's open orders. Is, it's it's impose order. Half. Yeah, yeah, impose okay. order is the real name. Open orders is an is an outdated one. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Now that it removes unrest, it needs to be a more encompassing name. Okay. Gorky, I've never heard of boarding school games, so I cannot speak to their um, trustworthiness. Sounds very appropriate for John Company, though. So if I was to attack Hyderabad, um, or sorry, invade Hyderabad. I only have one power, one strength. Yeah, they have one strength. So you if have I with four, it'd if be you went with dice? everything, then there'd be three dice. Yeah, three dice. That seems like a dumb idea. Let's do it. <laughs> They're pretty good. But are they too good, Garrick? I don't know. I mean, they, they have an address listed. That's always a good sign. Okay. Hey, success. Yeah, we probably shouldn't make this the uh, discuss game stores stream. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now it happens. So that's a success. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this is now a company region. It's going to be Ooh. nine loot. 
Because um, it's going to be that five plus one or four for the, the tower. I thought that, oh yeah, four for tower. Yep, there yep. we go. Yep. So nine total. Um, it goes into the Bombay presidency because that's where it invaded from. Uh, and then you split nine evenly between your pieces. So your commander in chief gets one. This officer gets one. This officer gets one. The, do the regiments still get paid? They do, yes. Yep. Okay, yeah. Everything so gets paid now, including one, two, three, uh, local four, five, alliances. Six, seven, eight, nine. So you, you just go around, Lily. Mm -hmm. So starting with your commander in chief, you get paid one. Then your other piece gets paid one. Then Garrett gets paid right, one. Right, right. Then so both Garrett the regiments gets... get paid. Yeah. And then you still have four left, so you do it again. So you get paid a second time for okay, commander in chief. Four total. Garrett gets four, two, and then the, the regiments three. get three, three into yeah. the company. Correct. Which is definitely nice. It's yeah. a nice little. Oh, I get an elephant. That's the only reason I actually. And you oh, get yeah. a trophy. That's right for yeah. the yep. tower strength. Yep, that's really good. Okay. Gosh, she's got so much trophies. <laughs> Leave my trophies alone. <laughs> Unless she gets wrecked on the back end, and then she loses half of them. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, Lily, you are incentivized to defend your holdings because these will get deleted if. Uh, a region you lose half. If, yeah, I wasn't so you planning probably, to do in Madras. I was say, you probably should leave the stuff in Madras because the elephant might revolt there, and then you'll. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't planning on doing anything in Madras. So. So now we're moving on to rolling for. Yep. So I, I, so I say if I trade first before you all say um, if you you're doing you roll as well. I think you roll. You are yeah, trading. You, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, I'll do all for five. I don't know that is... that timing actually matters but which will be going down this way so it, before. it depends on how many dice you think you want to roll for spending money it's a well, gamble I'm, yeah i'm I doing all fair. doing all these i was so imagining before. it being after spending the money before rolling but yeah that's you're right it, that's why they're saying after they roll okay anyway i'm just jabbering on yes you are <laughs> <laughs> hey! oh, that success. was so close to it. wow <laughs> All right. Do any firms have the West Sea as their target? Not I. Nope. Okay. Not I. Just trying it. <laughs> <laughs> so what is that? That is three, six, or sorry, nine, uh, 13, thirteen for the company. True. We just we just fixed it. <laughs> That was me. Oh, Lily, we just fixed it. Okay. All right, Commander of Madras. Uh, do I get something from that one? Yes, your your yes, writer, writer was used, so you get one. I get one too. Or and actually, I get my I'm, writer I get three, was right? used, right? And so four in total. Yeah, you get four in total, Luke. <laughs> it's funny every time. It is funny All every right. time. Lily, Army of Madras. Nope. Okay. Uh, I will spend five to roll four dice um, to sail. So here goes nothing. I mean, hopefully. <laughs> One success. Hey, there's a success. <laughs> One's all you need. Uh, okay, so Lily uh, hold gets... Up. I am the South Sea. Oh, right, so am I. <laughs> so <are you. laughs> <laughs> Oof. Okay. All right. So my company is rolling five dice. Garrick's rolling, rolling six. six. Just clone some extra dice or something. Yeah. Copy paste. Clone the good ones. Let's do it, Garrick. <laughs> that is two successes for me. That is two successes. Dang it. Yeah. So I go first. President decides, right? If yep, I remember correctly. President decides. Ugh, nice. I can't believe that rolled so badly. Um, I mean, I can. We're us. I can't <laughs> believe Drew rolled well. Yeah, I know. That. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can fill two orders. So it will be obviously these two uh, for 13, 12. I can count, I promise. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Where's the firm value? There we go. So firm value goes over here. What happens when it hits one of the shares? Where do they go again? It or just knocks them out of or... the game. Okay, I'm going to keep them by the bottom of this firm just so I remember where they went. Because I feel like there was one edge case where they were knowing how many were left is somewhat relevant. I don't remember what it was, though. 
Uh, yeah, so I get 12, so that moves me over two spaces, right? Because it's six each, am I remembering that correctly? Uh, yes, it says that, that in the trading box. Cool. Um, and then the money goes to India Treasury. And then what's the new bonus for the firm? Oh, a uh, firm manager gets uh, one in their this for each order filled. Okay, so two. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, then Garrick goes with yep. uh, three orders. Uh, I mean, same deal. We're doing these three because even at half, they're the most lucrative. Yep. So that's going to be two, three, and three, right? Uh, yes. Is it rounded up or rounded down? I thought it was rounded down, but let me... That sounds right. Let me check. I can't wait for a final rule book so that I can actually read it. <laughs> I've been holding off because I just know that if I read multiple different editions of this rule book, I'm going to be rounding down used when it actually delivers. Okay. Round it down. Cool. Yep. Yeah. So you're right. Two through three. All right. And then my value bumps up the same. I got eight uh, total. And I think that's that. All righty. Uh, and then the company succeeded, so a writer Derek, goes. How did your here. value bump up the same? Because well, I, he started oh, with. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. You're right. Well, no, you started with two investments, so the firm value should have been there. No, value is not right? related to investments anymore. Mm -mm. Uh, Remember, we did that mistake. That's last right. Week. We were, yeah, we were confused about that last week. Yeah. Okay, uh, I will do two orders with the company. So Lily gets a pound, I get two pounds, and the company gets uh, two and three. I think. Yeah. Oh, so it's, it's oh, is it? Okay. Sorry. Yeah, every, everything that sorry. comes after is halved. Uh, okay the first one so sorry i thought you, when you said two and three i thought you were having the half that's what i thought you were made and then i realized oh. you oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> i was like wait a second i All did right. not realize it fills that. the five and the seven but halved commander of yeah. bengal yep lily's up okay i'm imposing order as i was, i want to um uh, so there's no tower strength because we control the company so it's okay, just so however just many pieces you commit and each piece will just get one pound, including commander in chief. Um, I don't know who else to take with me. How many? How many? How many successes do I need? You just need one success. So oh, my dice, dice luck is terrible. I was gonna say, <laughs> probably should commit like four or five pieces. <laughs> um. You now you say your luck is terrible, and yet. I've never won a game of Bios Genesis against you, so that, let's be real here. That's fair. I feel like that's the one game I've got good luck in. But I avoid dice games for a reason. Um, you know, I'll just... And that's why you don't play Root. <laughs> uh, that's why I play the factions that don't roll dice. I was going to say, <laughs> all of the factions that Lily likes are the ones that never fight. <laughs> Oh, I tried. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> and that's a death oh. check. So everyone roll for your for your dude. Oh, that's the worst. Our regiment's immortal is it, now. Why is it a death I forget. Check? I don't remember. You rolled a six, Lily. Oh my god, really? Oh, Did you die? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll check if regiments need to roll a death check. But what if we wow. all die? Oh. Holy <laughs> shit. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, are you rolling for him? I, I'm looking up to make sure we need to real quick. Okay, once you do, I will. Let me know. What do you mean death is not in the rulebook? That is definitely... I, I'm pretty sure they don't anymore. I read something about that being changed recently, and I don't think it got changed back. Well, 
Well, Drew, it looks like you're not sailing in the east. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I tried. You did try. I mean, that was painful. It killed all your guys' officer. <laughs> I know. I'm okay with it, but you know, I, I mourn for you. I think you're right, Drew. I'm not saying anything about rolling for regiments anymore. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, Bengal president has nothing to do, so we can move straight on into bonus. Superintendent of trade in China. <laughs> oh, right, China. Yes. <laughs> My bad. Uh, is there a call? I get one die per ship, right? There used to be a very convenient little arrow I know, right here, I, I and no I wanted to come back. It, out. It, was, it should be there. Lovely. Okay. Did you fail too? I failed. Yeah. Oh, Garrick, are you serious? I'm serious. <laughs> Bonus this time. <laughs> oh, boy. Bonuses. Okay. <laughs> How is it possible that, that we consistently roll this poorly? How? <laughs> Tis an excellent question. Everyone get their bonuses? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Revenue? Revenue expenses. Uh, firms are first. I don't think they have an, a set order. I don't remember. Um, my firm has to pay four. Oh, I never spent from the London Treasury. I need to spend that money. <laughs> I, I think because we all died, the expenses for the company might be perfect. Really? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> all right, I paid my uh, I need to double check me, but... All right, yeah, I gotta pay mine too. You three. Um, yep, thanks. Oh, I didn't okay. get my... Remind me, I can pay expenses out of India or London Treasury, right? Yep. Yes. It's just... Why are there two different treasuries? <laughs> uh, because you can only pay out from India Treasury and you can only buy ships from London or something. It, I swear those used to have more but info doesn't, on them. That was helpful. But doesn't India just end up in the London Treasury if you want? If you want. But you can't go the other direction. Is the thing. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, that's right. That makes sense because then you could just start a firm and then pay out the dividends from the capital. Right. And it would, that be, would silly. be silly. Okay, I gotcha. All right, yeah. So I pay three, but expenses can be paid from either, right? I am fairly certain. I'm double checking that, but I'm like 90% sure. I think it's probably going to end up the same. Yeah, it can be paid bit. from both. Okay, so one, two, Alrighty, so company expenses are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, company ships don't count towards that, correct? No, they do. Yeah, they do. Oh, I thought they didn't. I thought it, what? The advantage of company ships is they can't get killed in storms. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm counting 21. I'm also counting 21. Yep. I think there Just was, I think there was an earlier cut at one point where company ships didn't count or something, I forget. There, there, there was a lot of changes to company ships. I remember that being a thing. Can't wait for both treasures to be merged, Gorky. I don't know what you're talking about. That, they're, they're staying separate. Yeah, no, I, I think that they are going to stay this way. Now that I remember why. It's, uh, I, d sense. Despite what the Discord thinks, Cole is not going to overhaul firms entirely again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. So no dividends are going to happen. Yep, so company standing drops. Because you can't meet expectations. Uh-huh. Anything else? Nope. I think that's it. All right, events in India. Chairman, would you like okay. to roll the event die? I can. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> he can. Yes! Ah! Oh, Beautiful! God. How do we do this every time? <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, Garrick, the, by the way, this thing... Well, never mind. We'll get to it when we get to it. It's not... Okay. What about it? I'll start moving. The, oh. uh, so this can be spent on retirements, even if I don't actually retire. 
Yes. But can I leave it in no. this treasury you from cannot. turn to turn? When do you okay. decide if you're paying out dividends? Uh, we firm? technically need to do that during the revenue phase. I'm not paying out. Drew, were you paying out? Uh, no. Okay. So, on to events. Turmoil in um, Madras. Madras. Uh, okay. Cool. Oof. Lily's Oof. writer is dead a -Rooney. Could someone pull that off for me? Oh, I guess. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> just drop a closed order on top of her. <laughs> um, does this come back to me? Yes. Yes. All right, next one. Oh, oh not the whole deck. Boy. Too many events. Sh shuffle. Shuffle. <laughs> so what, do I just grab? Just Wait, shuffle it into the deck. No, no, it says something weird, actually. No, it says shuffle it and then discard into the deck and then... Yeah. Okay, well... No, uh, oh, shuffle on top. this card in to the deck. You're right, you're right. And then put the discard on top. So this gets shuffled first, and then we know for a fact that yeah. 3 will be a turmoil. Uh, and it's in Madras again. <laughs> oh, no. So it cascades. 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 Uh, which way? Both ways? Uh, yeah, cascades, Does cascade it go into now. Hyderabad and also uh, Mysore, or... I think so. Oh, no. Wait a second. Doesn't this go here? No, no, no. I just placed this. Yeah, uh, but that's the last order in Hyderabad. Yeah, so if Hyderabad turmoils, then it oh, has okay. made it into okay. Maratha, but not... Okay, okay I just want to make sure. Okay. Wow. Okay. So that was... Three. So we need one more. Three. <laughs> we fall in oh, Hyderabad. fall in Hyderabad. <laughs> Oh, cool. I, I, get a, I get a buck. Yeah, Lily gets a pound and you get a pound. Oh, yay. Is there anything else to windfall? I remember there being something that's not necessarily obvious. I think it's just writers in every adjacent region. I don't remember anything else being... Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Wow. What a turn. Wait, is Bombay what? adjacent? The Hyderabad? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's right. I forget if it counts adjacency by the roads oh. or spaces. I remember it's weird, but I don't remember which way it's weird. <laughs> don't make me disappointed. <laughs> you can put that pound right back where it came from. <laughs> put that pound back where it came from, or so help me. Yep. I'm looking now. Is that in like the map section? I'm I'm hoping. If it doesn't, we gotta ask. We gotta put the hey, this needs to be in the Yes, Gorky, we did roll a four on the events again. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a a search through the document now to see if that will help. Uh, regions that share a border with that region. Says it in the windfall text. Yep, that's right. Share border. Okay. So yeah, oh, you're right. It is right there. Yeah. Look at that. Ooh, duh. <laughs> so All right. I get my fails at reading the rule book. Apparently, I get my dollar. Bingo spaces. My pound. You can't take it from me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Parliament meets. Game. Prime Minister. I get to do something. Do you, or will it be a man? Oh, it's not mandatory. I'm sad. Okay. Each president bonus is paid to the company balance. Um, Oof. <laughs> who I thought I saw someone say they were going to bed? Uh, Gorky. Night Gorky. There it is. <laughs> he said he's going to bed. And then immediately <laughs> questioned why, like we, 10 more time. <laughs> why we're terrible. Um, all right. We got yeah, tax we for are ships. Terrible. Tax for this. wind and window. Okay. Um, I'm going to push it. That's the thing I can do, right? Yeah. Yeah. The three cards. All right. Each player, players gain an addition. 
initial one pound for each of the riders placed in an order in India. Hmm. Plus five support. Got it. The policies on workshops. Let's see, we got bonus or bonus. Why is everything awful? That's great. I think we should go with this one. <laughs> the problem is it helps everybody but me, but I guess that's a good way for people to... I was going to say law. that Just means you you're card. much more likely to keep the prime minister yeah. and get the power I point think the I trophy, will. whatever. I, I, I've got... Yeah, I feel like this one, I, I want to do the writer, writer privileges. Push it! Push it! No! Okay. I normally always draw the push mandatory ones. Good. I want to have a decision! <laughs> I thought you hated decisions. I do hate decisions, but I still want them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which policy are you picking? Um, this one. No, no, no. Which policy? Oh, policy, policy. Where's policy. where's the marker going on the spinneret? In the off one chance goes you fail, do you want one... <laughs> this this either those two bonuses happening, or do you want a power switch to happen? Well, I wouldn't have a control of that. If it fails, the leader of the opposition can choose right or yeah. left. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm thinking. Okay. Cool, cool. I like how they do that now, where the leader of the opposition actually has a kind of a cool say in how it works. Yep. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a good rule. I like the policy system. Well, okay. Uh, it's support plus starts five, at minus it? three. Because we've got regulation. Yes, it starts in my. Uh, oh, wait. No, no. no it's, I, if you're voting think, on deregulation, uh, yeah, yeah, deregulation. Oh, I misread that. Okay. Gets the plus five support. Does that mean uh, you want to push it instead? No. <laughs> Don't listen to Garrett. <laughs> I never do. Um, I will vote two four. Two and four. Wow. I'll vote four right. four. Oh, now I put it at three. It's oh, sorry, three, sorry, three, then, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. My bad. It's fine. I have five votes. So I actually could tank this with Drew's support. But you get money if you don't tank it. It's true. It's true. Or I could tank it and hear me out, Drew. I'll make ships have more power. Uh, that comes at the expense of shares, which is a downgrade for me. Uh, that's fair. All right, that's not much of an argument. Um, I can't think of a reason to side with you without getting paid quite a bit because it reduces my power for one thing. Uh, it gives you the prime minister, and I get basically nothing out of it. Yeah, if it wasn't for the shares, I think there'd be an argument of us aligning against Luke, but I don't think that I don't think it lines up. So I'll just pass. All right, I will. I don't know. Vote three, four for funsies. Lily, would you like another round of voting? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The motion passes. All right. Yep. So writer privileges. Lily put a disc on there. Um, and then workshops get bonused. One for me, one for Garrick, two for Luke. And then we're back to refresh. Yarp. Uh, and refresh now includes upkeep. So, Luke, you need to pay your two pounds at this yep. time. I have paid. That bonus was nice. It gave me what I needed. <laughs> <laughs> we done all of cleanup? Looks like it. I think so. There was only one writer left alive to come <laughs> back. <laughs> all right. Uh, on to round two. London season.
Roll for attrition. Chairman is plus one to the roll, correct? Chairman is plus one, correct. Oh. Bye bye, Chairman. Uh, um, okay. Shipping. Mother. I wanted to die. It didn't happen. Three and four is our fatigue, right? Correct. Fatigued. Fatigued. Fatigue. Retired. All right, has everyone rolled for attrition? Look at you, using the dinky little card slot like a good player. I think that card slot will be great in real life. Uh, in TTS, it's just kind of annoying. <laughs> nah, I don't, I don't foresee it being that useful. I think you'll do the same exact thing we're doing here, which is just spreading them out for everyone to see. Well, yeah, when, when it's time to vote on them, they obviously get spread out. But this is a nice place to store them in the meantime. <laughs> there's like, it's much easier there's like to two minutes them. between doing it. Oh, yeah, you're, it's well, not, not like you're doing it here like, and then back here. You're <laughs> no, no, no. When, when people fail catastrophically during the ribbon, during the uh, company phase. I'm still not going to people get but anyway, fired during parliament. This is super not what we should be doing right now. We should <laughs> be figuring out retirements. Uh, starting with the chairman or former chairman in this case. Yeah, yep. um, I one of mine will have to go away. The other is going to go here. Um. Sure, I'll go ahead and pick it, pitch in an extra buck, and. My three. Yeah, and we'll just go up here. Hmm. Welcome to bingo night. <laughs> I'm jealous. Um, <laughs> More sacrifices for the bingo hall. What is this? Like a satanic bingo? <laughs> <laughs> More blood for the bingo god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. I, could... I am one short from getting an actually good retirement. I guess <laughs> four point, or two points for four pounds is not bad. But. Oh man! Do I even want uh, Lily? Do you want to lend me a pound <laughs> for um, my consent for nepotism? No. <laughs> I think I'd rather not retire and buy another workshop. Lend you a pound if you give me a share in your company. Nope. <laughs> uh, shit. I'll make the same deal, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, Garrick. If you lend me a pound and give me a share in your company, I will give you a share in my company. Mm. We can bind our destinies together. Mm, I think someone's getting off slightly better there. Uh, only by one pound. <laughs> yeah, that's too much. I have principles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too good for the bingo hall. <laughs> Can confirm. <laughs> Only play Scrabble. Uh, I'm just going to. Lily, did you retire at all? No. I only have one. I only have one. One spot. Uh, you know what? I'm going to spend the two out of this uh, firm dividends just to get a card and Makes scoop sense. up a card. Because it's guaranteed, so why not? All right. Um, does anyone remember what the tiebreaker is for? I would almost guess it's chairman. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure the prime minister and then seating order is now the universal tiebreaker. I think so one too. Thing, and I forget okay. what the one thing is. I just, <laughs> I know at one point prestige cards was power, which made sense. So I want to make sure that's not yeah. still the case. Yeah, it's prime minister. Okay. And then clockwise. Yep. That's what I thought. So it is Luke and then myself and then Drew just because he's last anyway. I can't remember. Do I get to look at all these secret you do. prestige you cards? You get everything and then you pick whichever one you want to take. All right. Um, I'll take the Rotten Burrows. Eric, is this pensioner dying off then? Oh, yeah, sorry. I accidentally grabbed one for my supply instead of grabbing that one. Drew? Right, sorry. I stepped away. Can you just uh, hand me the secret prestige sure. left? All right, that is our London season. We're on to the, fam Oop, on to the family phase. Sure. Former chairman, um, what would you like oh, to do? Former chairman, um, I will... I'll do two writers again. I'll just put them there. Um, I have a quick question before it moves on, though. Sure. Could someone, would someone be, I would love to have two bucks to buy a workshop. <laughs> nice try. Mm. Mr. I have six points. Mm. What are you offering? <laughs> yeah, that's the real question. I would be. I could do a prestige card. Do two or not two or less doesn't. I mean, I don't know how which ones you feel are more valuable. Hmm. I would do determine how I vote with 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 one of these two. I'll yeah, I'll give you two for determine how you vote and prestige card. Okay, and that prestige card. That's what he's offering. Wow. wow. Yeah, I would have taken that. But it pays to pay attention, kids. You know how hard that is for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then I'm clearing and buying a workshop. All right, and then you're all done? Yep. I'm going to do something pretty similar, except with officers. And then buying a workshop. Yeah, I'm also going to double up on officers and buy a workshop. Drew trying Thank to you. steal Lily's post. <laughs> Lily? I'll stick with my listing of writers. And would you like to buy a workshop? I would. Wish I could buy multiple, but I cannot. Let's just make a giant pile of there. Um, Lily, it probably makes sense to spread out because you have control over opening this, so you're going to get more writers placed. Because I will oh, end up that's sailing true. here if I can, and you have total control on whether I get to sail here because you're still the commander. That's true. 
I mean, I might have shitty dice, but <laughs> but yeah. if I succeed, you're gonna get money for going there. Okay, I'm I'm okay with this. Okay, great. Time for firms. Does anyone want to start a new firm? Or invest? Eric, do we need to invest anymore? Um, I don't know if we need to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to invest, I think, in my own firm. So that's five. Oh, wait. No, that doesn't actually make any sense because I can't buy a ship. I have to be. Uh, I need another shipyard to actually do that, don't I? You can only buy ships from. If it, if no one, you can only purchase ships from other player shipyards or your own shipyards. Yes, is that yes. right? You can only purchase no, like, player ships. Can't buy temp ships with consent. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, I guess I'm not investing. I have been curious to try a single boat firm. So here we go. It's a single boat firm. <laughs> Waiting if I want to invest again to my own. I think I will. OK. Uh, does anyone else have anything they want to do in the investments, in the firm investment phase? I don't think so. OK. Uh, on to firm strategy phase. Thinking, thinking. Uh, all right. Drew, are you ready? Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, I think I am. Yep. OK, moving on to hiring. Starting with the chairman. Okay, I am the Senate. <laughs> Sorry, Luke. <laughs> Are you, though? Would, would you like to vote for me, Luke? I'll vote for you. <laughs> for a buck. <laughs> for a buck. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, okay, so Governor General is chosen from any office. Oh, interesting. Shoot. Don't forget, there is the trade of China in tra trade in China. 
Oh, that's a good point. Who, who, uh, who? Eric is, is in charge of that. It's not a real office. Uh, I don't the count. Chairman, the chairman selects that one. Hmm. And what's the pool? Writers. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Um, all right, let me think about this for five seconds. There's five, uh, four, three, two, one, zero. Last off. <laughs> the last off. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Dang it. That won't work. All right. Cool. Um. I, Lily, would you give me your or my two pounds for less back, or I guess your two or less to get promoted to director of trade? No. <laughs> How about a pound? <laughs> I'll take that deal. No, I'm good. Okay. I don't have a pound. You don't have a pound? <laughs> um, I. Oh, wait. I spent that five on the workshop. Oopsies. <laughs> I'll take your two or less, Garrick, and then I'll give you a pound back as soon as I get one. Um. Yeah, actually, I can swing for that. Okay. There you go. All right. Uh, shipping consider writers. Hmm. And does this one move? Now into this, your your fatigue goes on to go. Oh in yeah, sorry, yes, I forgot. That's right. He was being promoted. I was just like, yeah, I'll take that for you know, no, like extra extra office, you know. I was being dumb. Is the point? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, so manager of shipping, um, Luke, will you give me your consent for nepotism? To get hired. No, nah, I'm, I'm good. Support you. No, nah, I'm good. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, I feel like Lily needs some more incentive to be interested in this company. Uh, actually, shipping office is probably the right. I don't idea. think you can enforce incentive on somebody, Drew. Uh, I can align incentives a little bit. Uh, yeah, actually, no, shipping, ah, shoot, that's right, shipping needs to, yeah, shipping needs to go, Luke. Okay, there we go. Here you go. Okay. All right, uh, Lily picks the president of Bombay. Does she? Yeah, she's the director of trade. Is she? Or the... No, 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 that's... Garrick, Garrick's the director. Oh, trade. right. Le- <laughs> <Garrick> is <laughs> this is why I make asking all these questions here. I'm like, this doesn't check out in my version of reality. <laughs> what is reality? What is real anyway, Garrick? True. All right. Uh, who wants President of Bombay? Well, your options are Lily or Luke. Sure. And I'm asking if either of them is willing to give anything to get take the position. I'm good. Really? I'm good. I don't understand why no one seems to want offices. They're so good. 
Because, like, you have to give them out anyway, so I don't want to be bribed for it. I don't want to have to bribe somebody for it if I don't really that care that much. I mean, I the think... bribes are usually low enough to be totally worth the potential retirement. Knowing my luck, I won't retire, so I just gave up on that. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, I'll take Drew's two or less. <laughs> That was hard earned, sir. With a failure of dice, that was hard. -earned. I know it was hard earned, but I'm I'm offering it because I'm leaning toward Luke. Otherwise, yes, lean towards the person with six points. It seems like a great idea. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Presidency is yours. Pleasure to be of service. And then superintendent of trade in China, chosen by the chairman. Yep. Um, all right. Who wants this insanely lucrative office? I definitely would like it, but I don't know what I can offer exactly. That I mean, there's some stuff here. Consent for nepotism. I would gladly give you consent for nepotism for that one. Um, Drew, funny. I'll give you your two or less back. <laughs> That's also funny. I could also give you an offer, the office holder bonus. You could get it for one turn when it's lucrative. That I would take, yeah. I'd take the same deal. Uh, and toss in your two or less. Oh. Garrick's bumping up the price, Luke. <laughs> I, I don't have enough things to give. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> well, he's offering uh, he's offering office holders bonus and a two or less. I mean, would I could do be willing I, I, to match that. <sighs> I mean, I take pound. Oh, you don't have pounds. I mean, I could give you a pound in the future. <laughs> <laughs> but Garrick is offering me two pounds, so true. Or less. Or less. <laughs> or less. <laughs> that is technically correct. <laughs> he, could offer, he could be giving you zero. I, I give you one. Well, Drew, I will just remind you to look at the score track, and you are, you are free to make the no, decision. No, I'm, I'm taking your deal, Garrick. I'm just giving him the chance to match it, but this no, time he wants to match it. So I'm not going to match uh, I have too many promises out. I will, I will <laughs> I take that. Um, wait, shredded. are you even eligible, Garrick? Oh yeah, you have a writer. Yeah, here. I got one writer. All right, here you go. I to be <laughs> to be fair, I did kind of like the little uh, Twilight Struggle Cold War we had going on, where we had each other's two or less. <laughs> yeah, so, like I... if anyone was ever like, gonna, oh, I'm going to screw you out of your retirement, we could just be like. <laughs> okay, I take my two money back right away. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty happy to have that, but at the same time, I like clawing back my position. So yeah, no, I I agree. Anyway, uh, I think it was a smart move. I just think it was it was amusing that we, yeah, it was amusing that, that ended up that way for a little while. Yeah. Well, Garrick's got back his positions that he lost. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, Chairman Drew. Indeed. Um. Okay. Well, is that like a the, the lesser version of okay great? Like okay well. Yeah, yeah, this is not great. This is uh this is not even well, in fact. I should say okay shit. You put um, so many officers on interesting play for the person who's now the head of the company and has No, no, uh, we I put officers in there for a reason and it's that we can't want lose these the... orders open and true, true, true. Lily stands to make a lot of money if she does that. Um because she has writers in those closed regions. So it's more a question of um, like these, these two orders are like kind of awkwardly closed. So that's very unfortunate. Uh, so Bombay only needs three. Madras only really needs two. Bengal already has three and is only going to need three. So I don't, think we need any more money in shipping right now actually um so i think i just take two debt 
and put five in the presidencies. Um, Bombay is not selling sailing to multiple regions, so I'll do. Um, sure, I'll do one in Bengal. I can't remember. How does the company debt That's relate right. to the standing track again? Is it the green spots? Is that what it is? No, it doesn't really directly correlate anymore. Okay. The green spots green correlate. Green just means it's more expensive to get your shares oh, of the company yes. by investing in a firm. They're also when you vote for deregulation in 1758 or 1710. That's right. That's right. Okay, that's it for chairman. Okay. Governor General. We're going to roll his, uh, I think it's six dice now, because one, two, three. Yep, six dice. Yep. I'll take only the best dice. Waiter, give me your finest dice. <laughs> All right, those are some successes. <laughs> Just a few. Just a few. Uh, I will take my one. Uh, I will do, 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 do. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? You could build more ships for superintendent of trade, I guess. Yeah, that is something. It's it's an idea I'm not opposed to now that I got it back. Yeah, I, I think it's all upside if you control both of those two. And you can you move those ships you build on probably like too the... powerful of a position that I just gave you. <laughs> uh, Governor General hasn't has a uh, a fatigue. He's not going to last long. So I think you're well, right. But but I mean, you only the you only need one round of this. Yeah, and that's the powerful position. Like, if you can stuff, you know, the max five ships or whatever in there, and you can easily do that with max? six dice, probably. Isn't there? Is there? Oh, I thought it was five for some reason. Why did I think that? I don't know. Maybe it's because I've never seen more than five in there. <laughs> but right. anyway, you can stuff a bunch of ships in there, and like, you only need to do it once. So even if you retire, you're set. Next roll is a success. Let's move that ship in. Pull you out of there. Let's try again. That's a success. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Sweating there. Pull you out. Let's try <laughs> one more time. That's a success. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> and we'll throw that into the office. And we are going to call it there. Company's staying alive though, probably after this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Governor General's done. Unless you want to use wait. that office soldiers bonus. Yeah, drill. I'm. Kind of, I'm thinking about it. So the bonus here would be five, but you have to actually succeed. Correct? Because there's five. It's the bonus is equal to the number of ships that sailed. No, no, no. It's 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 opium controlled symbols. Remember, this is what happened last time. Gosh, that's right. I'm still stuck on that old rule. So it, it's four either way, basically, right? Oh. Thank you, the Shackle Blue. It doesn't actually matter, but you're right. We did not set oh, yeah. back the boat track. You are right. Uh, yeah, so four either way. So um, I'm going to take the guaranteed four rather than maybe four in the future if you... Fair enough. Can Let's I have see. my one back? Uh, yeah, that's fine. But we agreed to, and you're a man of your word, right? I am, yeah. Wow, what a change. You get, are you getting the four right now? <laughs> Yeah, I, I turned in his office holders bonus. He got four pounds from that set of director of trade roles, and now oh, that yes, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yep. All right, so shipping. On to shipping. I uh, can't do anything. Oh, hold on, hold I didn't on. transfer. Oh, right. Uh, I have transfers. I'm sorry. Oh, that's a good point. You have transfers. Uh, I'm not giving you pound back if you fuck with my shipping. Uh, <laughs> so feel free to move writers around. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. We made a deal. We made a deal. I know, but if you decide to screw me over, then I'm going to screw you over back. <laughs> what do you mean, screw you over? 
It's good for the company. Uh, no, leave, the ships are set up perfectly. If, no, if I leave Bombay alone, are you gonna are you gonna renege on your deal? No, I just I don't I don't want you to move any ships out of the regions that they're already in because but that's I want to what is best for the company. If you want to move writers, then whatever. I have no incentive to move writers. I have nothing down there that cares. Yeah, you don't need to do anything with your trades then. All right, you're you're gonna revoke our deal and continue to be an untrustworthy slime. That's fine. <laughs> We'll uh, we'll take both of them from Bombay. Where's just the bingo of this. card? Where's the bingo card? I wasn't going to take them from Bombay, but I guess we are now. <laughs> I mean, that just hurts Lily. <laughs> I mean, it hurts you too. That's where your writers are. No, you're no, not that's not me. Yeah, yeah, that's you're it, right. No, I'm sorry. That does that doesn't hurt. Him I don't at know why I was thinking Drew was yellow. We're we're Gee, taking it. Bengal is probably the most painful for. Yeah. Exactly. We could work there. together, Garrick. You don't need to move any ships. You, you could give me my dollar. I will. I'm happy to give you your dollar, but no. if you're going to mess up the shipping. Uh, I'm, I'm going to relocate ships to where they should be for the good of the company. <laughs> move it past mine. All right. Lily's up. All right. Let's see. What am I doing? There's no such thing as too petty, Tom. <laughs> um, I want to open orders. Um, hold on. First, you gotta move and and assign. No, I know. Stuff. I'm trying to figure out okay. where I want to move things to. Because like, okay. I want to open orders in Madras, but I also want to defend Madras. This is all valid. I'm just trying to take in consideration of what I want to do in future, because I need to plan it now. Um. Well, so chips. I think the worst elephant event is a plus three, and if you remove the unrest, then it's going to not have any modifiers. So as long as you leave three behind in Madras, you're probably safe. Yeah, but what's the what role do I need to open to uh, open the orders there? Well, the real question. Yeah, you're just going to get as many dice as you commit pieces because there's no penalty for imposing order in a company region because there's no foreign invasion power. can go higher, can't it? Oh, you're right. There is a single card in the deck that could screw you. <laughs> but if you plan for that thing, then nothing, you'll get nothing done. Because what is that? You roll a d6 and it can, and that's its strength or something. I think like so. That. That's what I remember it being. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even if that happens, three would be a 50 50 chance of successfully protecting it. So let's be real here, Drew. We can assume the worst die roll possible. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. <laughs> All that to say, Lily, I think if you put, put four pieces in Madras, you're probably safe. And you can then roll four dice and then leave three behinds. Yeah. You, you can like rejigger pieces where you want with your transfers, but you have at least four pieces to place. So I can transfer regiments, right? Yes. Cool. I love it. <laughs> okay, uh, command or army commander of Bombay, commander in chief, army. I would like to invade Delhi. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> I will say, Lily, the more things you invade, the more likely it is that the elephant's going to come make you uh -huh. pay for it. <laughs> this is fine. You might as well bring all four, because one isn't going to successfully defend. That's fair. Tom, the the layout is amazing, I think. And these player boards are a little, I don't know, plain, but I think I they're out of date. They're not final. Yeah. Oh, Lily. Roll a death check. I'm rolling it uh, here. This one's for me, and these three are for the, the regiments. Don't oh, roll anymore. Just, don't roll. It's yeah. just me. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I'm so good at dying, guys. We're all good at dying. Holy all moly! All right, let's see if I can destroy. <laughs> Let's see if we can sail. Let's see if you can trade. <laughs> uh, we can just stay in the region. So, four? Yep. Yep. I oh can't. my god. 
Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. This is why no one should put me in charge of anything. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Did y'all forget why I'm generally not in charge of things? Because I didn't. Hey. Well, oh, and Lily, uh, now on. you get I'm to sailing. roll another four dice. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm I don't like there. these four dice anymore. I want new ones. You get new dice. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bengal did self-destruct, Tom. Uh, real quick before we move on, I am sailing in the west. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. shit, right. I guess okay. that's something I have to pay attention to. That's seven dice, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Okay. Let's roll it. All right. I have two successes. Drew, you're not <laughs> two sailing? Two successes. I am not sailing in the okay. west, no. Ooh, I got it. Can you believe it? That's going to be 10 altogether, which is going to bump it up one. And puts three into my special dividends treasury. And then we can move on to Commander of Madras. <laughs> All right, Lily. <laughs> right, let's do it. Good luck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hey, hey, there you go. I just can't be involved, is apparently the, uh... Oh, wow. <laughs> He's just doing the elephant's job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I get two pounds for that. Lily gets one pound for being commander-in-chief, and Gary gets two pounds. Yep. Uh, and then we're on to the Madras presidency. I will sail uh, with five dice. Well, actually... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-eight. Debt. So if this succeeds, we get nine. Garrick can only make twenty at best, right? Garrick, is it? Uh, I forget per, how much it is per opium. Or 16 at best. It's four per opium icon, right? If it's four per, then yeah, I think we had four. We do have four, for sure. There's only five on the table, and the fifth one's in Delhi. Yeah. Um. So 16 plus nine is not going to be enough to pay company expenses. So maybe I should roll only four dice and prioritize my firm. That seems like kind of a dumb edge case risk. I'm rolling five dice either way. So if I get ties, I break them. All right, uh, I'm rolling for the company with five dice to sail. And that is a success. Oh, thank God. Wow. <laughs> Um, I am in the south with my firm, so I'm rolling another five dice. There was one success. <laughs> the company, the company got one success. Yes, and two successes. Yep, so the firm will go first and will sail for nine. Uh, which bumps up firm value, and then the company will sail. Uh. I'm not going to bother putting the things down because that's fine. Yeah. Uh, so then the company gets four, four and Lily gets two pounds and I get three pounds and then we're done. Did you uh, spend the amount you used for sailing to the firm? I, I did. Yeah. Oh, shit. I did not. So I should be at 15. I was going to say, you looked a little high for. No. Yeah. Sale. I put it in this. This bid. Yeah, I gotcha. Having two is like hard for me to keep track of for some reason. It'll be a lot easier when there's money chips. It will be a lot easier with actual chips. All right, on to Commander of Bengal. <laughs> Lily? Lily. Mm, sorry. Uh, I'm uh, trying to open orders. Why not? This seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> Roll that one. Oh. Okay. Oh. I tried. President yep. of Bengal. 
I have nothing to do. Okay. It's closed. Man, not having a director of trade sucks. <laughs> 1813 is hard. <laughs> uh, superintendent of trade in China. I have no clue how many ships seven, are here. Nice. Is it seven? Seven. Yep. Uh, I concur. Do you concur? I concur. So I need one more. Let's roll them up. Oh, one success. Woo! Wow. <laughs> okay. Right, so that's 16 for the company. And do I get one per opium symbol? Is that what it is? Yes. Yep. Yeah. So four. Okay. All right. Moving on to bonuses. Yep. And then revenue and expenses. Um, I'm up to five now. Uh, four now. Five. Feels bad. All right, firms are done, it seems like. So on to the company. Uh, well, when do firms pay dividends? Oh, yeah, firms can pay dividends now if they want to. Um, companies not meeting expectations. Companies definitely taking probably two emergency loans. You're probably going to have some kind of failure. Due I think to company, yeah, company could fail now. Um, it's definitely failing next turn, I think, at this point. So I'm going to pay dividends. What are my expenses? Company has 28 in debt, it looks like. Yes, that's what I yeah. calculated earlier. Okay, so, so they need right. two emergency loans. So it's going to be two emergency loans, which means it's not an auto fail right now, but it's going to be pretty close. But we also haven't seen what the events in India will do. Which right, yeah. So <laughs> I, I'm just I, basically I'm gambling on what the events in India might be. So I am definitely paying dividends. Yeah, I'm going to do the uh, same thing. So I'm going to leave four in the company, I think. Uh, so I Luke, I'm paying out twice. Okay. Uh, ooh, can I have, can someone copy one of these special things over for me and put it online? Oh, yeah, yeah, here, they're just in a bag down at the bottom. Oh, oh, thank you. So I have two for that? Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, Garrick, you said paying dividends out twice, and that's confusing. How did dividends work exactly? I'm paying, it, it pays one per share. Oh, yeah. Ooh, so I can't pay seven, because there are two shares outstanding so i have to pay an even number don't i no because remember that funny rule last week that we talked about you're allowed oh yeah on a shareholders per share can... basis to yep. not yeah. receive not your payment. accept a dividend yeah and you can decide then <laughs> okay great so yeah i can pay a full seven out just to myself evenly yeah nice if i could get you know luke's permission i could pay out you know two more to myself or with my own permission, I could pay out the two, one to Luke, one to me. And keep it in there for expenses. Yeah, I see. Okay. Uh, actually, if the company survives, I have a workshop. So I can always just invest in myself for five, which would then be my expenses. Exactly. So I'm going to pay out 100% of my money and go to 21 uh, and make sure so that money that you pay out goes to your special retirement fund, correct? Yes, special retirement. Oh, too. cool. What are you, what are you Even doing? Better. Cheater. Even better. Don't you know how to play I'm, the game? I'm, I'm cheating to my own detriment. <laughs> uh, that is amazing. I mean, I might not need it. That is really, really nice. It is. That buys. Oh shoot! I'm one away from being able to get this retirement, so I actually do need to actually retire <laughs> in order to be in this game. But but that is very juicy. <laughs> uh, and just okay, Garrick. Just to confirm. Uh, no, yeah, never mind. I understand how it works. We're good. I'm You're good. good. Ignore me. Do I, I do. care about that one? Oh, wait, do we have a fancy law for writer? What the heck does this do? 
Oh, oh yeah. shoot. I completely forgot about that. Uh, Me too. Lily is the only one who got writers out. So Lily, get two more pounds. <laughs> I passed that on purpose, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, wait oh. a minute. You only get trophies for invading, right? Correct. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Don't do anything else. I, I'm going to optionally pay, pay out one less, I think. I don't think it makes sense to go out to the nine. I don't think it gets me anything. Uh, I mean, is there... I, I guess just like to think through it, I don't understand why there's any value in leaving money in your company. Only in case the game doesn't end? Well, but uh, you need five in the company, and if you don't have five, you might as well have as little as possible, because if you don't have five, you're going to have to go buy some workshop to invest in it to save this firm if there's another round. I guess it's fair... I mean, I don't know if the extra pound is helping you either, but I'm just trying to think if there's like a reason to do that, and I don't see one. I mean, I guess you're right that I do. I am going to need a workshop either way, so it's it's silly. So Luke, have one more special investment dollar. Okay. We'll split the two. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. It seems like you might as well give yourself a full round of pay uh, payout, and then just like empty your treasury, even though it slightly benefits Luke because you're the one who has to refuse a dividend on one of your shares, but seems worth it to me. Yeah, I think so too. All right. So company expenses. Uh, it falls two because it takes an emergency loan. It takes two emergency loans and it uh, doesn't meet expectations. Doesn't meet expectations. Yep. So one for each of those. I forget. Does it keep the remainder for the emergency loans? It does, yes. Are we sure? Because there was something related to emergency loans that we found out we were doing wrong. Oh, well, it might have been changed, but that's how we've played it in the past. So I guess we should check it. Looking, looking, looking. But in case it does keep it, it would have two because the expenses were 28. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and roll this god awful yep. die. After emergency loans, you set the balance to zero. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> I, I rolled a four. And you rolled a four? It landed on four, and then I hit R again. So Beautiful. That. Beautiful. Oh, so much bad. All right. All right. Um, what's this windfall? That's what we did that was last. Less. Was it? Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yes, I remember. Okay. Peace. Peace. Uh, it was on the Mysore so, border. Yeah, it was on the Mysore Madras border, which means this. Oh no, yeah, this order is opens. Uh, this tower gets bigger, and that's it. Uh, it goes to Bengal on oh, right. the yes. Star or Circle, so right there it looks like. Uh, well, but it's in Bengal, it so it's a Bengal, company controlled so region, so it yeah. just goes in the center. Yep, that's really bad. Ooh. A leader in Bengal. Yep. That means it's a rebellion of it one. It is a rebellion, right? Which we don't have any defenses. So. Uh, plus yep. one from the unrest. So yeah, we lose the region. Oh, wait, hang on. Can I defensively buy these guys or do I have to have done that earlier? I think it's far too late for that, yeah. Yeah, we should have okay. done that earlier. Dang. If it makes you feel better, Bombay also has no defense and also revolts. So we doubly lose it. No, it only happens in... Punjab? Oh, because um, it doesn't have the elephant symbol. Yeah, I was uh, going to say, this is an elephant. It's a local leader that's rising up. In okay. Fair, Bengal. fair, fair, fair. Fair, 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 fair. All right, so Punjab just gains a level of strength, right? Well, it doesn't matter. The company fails. Yeah. No, the company doesn't fail. What? That's what I'm saying. It, this is only happening in Punjab. It's not an elephant event. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. If the elephant was in Punjab and this said Punjab, then it would have revolted. That's what this thing means in the brackets, right? Yeah, the elephant doesn't move. Yeah, you're, you're, you're correct. Yep, that makes sense. Sweet. Okay, let's okay, see what happens well, next. Yeah, two more events, so... <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Shit, okay. yeah, there's the elephant. <laughs> okay, that's it. Uh, wait, no, hang on. The elephant is minus one. And has there's an unrest, 
So nothing happens. No, the unrest is a strength of one. And it also... Yeah, and the elephant is at minus one, so it's strength of zero and fails. Right, okay. And then there's Bombay with no defense oh, and a strength yeah, of right. one. Wait, no, it's... The elephant is minus one, so isn't it minus no, one? No, the elephant or... is for the elephant specifically. And then everything else revolts with the unrest it has. Just with the standard unrest. Yeah. I thought this modifier applied to everything. Okay, cool. I'm checking now, but I'm 80% sure. In the elephant's region, the strength is equal to the number of unrest tokens plus the modifier on the event tile. In other regions, the strength of each rebellion is equal to the number of unrest tokens in that region. Yep, okay. that makes sense. Copy fails. Womp womp. All right. Well, that's sad. I need another round. Uh, we score the court. Drew gets minus four. Luke gets minus two. Yep. Uh, power. Now this, I honestly have no clue. I've not been paying attention. I think Lily has it. I think she's had it for... I mean, I do have the trophies. Four trophies. Six, four trophies. And the Prime Minister. And a law passed! Uh, Drew's firm is a power of one. I have two trophies. You have two uh, trophies? So I think you also I have, have five two with the because shares. Because of the court. And, yeah. Yeah, I, I have five. Seven. I have a little one. I think I only have four. Two laws passed and the Rotten Burrows. Oh, no, hang on, Lily. Uh, you're, you're losing Wait. trophies twice because oh i am region yeah loss. oh yeah. that's true yeah oh, oh. region so loss. lily loses yeah. two for bengal and then she loses it no no, no. remember uh, we're not losing bengal again. we're just losing bombay oh right right yeah so just okay two. so i got You're, two okay yeah. so you have two i don't know if that changes the numbers at all i think you still um, have right no i only got five then oh well then we're tied what happens with the tie again We'd, we split uh, the points the, yeah add it and divide you guys are split right. at five so what turn are we on Six. Yes, yeah, so we're no, splitting we're five seven. and two. Yeah, we're splitting seven, so six. Three each, I think. Three each, okay. I'm so close to being part of that. Oh, and so we need to score um, workshops, right? You also? don't split power anymore, really. Did we, oh. we didn't split anymore. We all I have Woo! Uh, <laughs> well, right. I'll take it! So I'm at minus three, and Lily, you gain two, two. more. Yeah. yeah. We need to score our workshops, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah we better. did. I was going to get through retirement, hidden interests, oh, and sorry. then do extra stuff. It's okay. Yep. That works. No, no, no. Let's do it that order. You're, you're in um, Let's do it how you were doing it, Garrick. All right. So, yeah, we're done with power. So, final retirement. Uh, Drew and I each... Oh, sorry. In Luke, Drew, Luke, and I get retirements with our special dividends. Yeah. Yeah. Not going to be enough. I need one more to stay in this game. Although, even then... I'm way down there, minus three, so. But I will retire to... It's just this pool. I can't spend money from here, right? Yeah, it's just the pool. Yeah, so. I can't use mine because I'm one buck short. Bad. So I just send one here for four points. Yep, same. So I'm at one. Uh, after final retirement, we have hidden interests. Does anyone have a hidden... Or I guess we can do prestige cards last if we want to, for excitement. Or no, it's Let's fine. Do it. We can do it. We can do it last. All right. Well, well in that what case, else is there? Uh, oh, there are workshops. workshops. Um, I get uh, shares. All oh, right. So I get three for shares. You get one for share. Two, three. <laughs> and then, yeah, we scored workshops. Uh, so yeah, secret prestige cards. Most workshops. Oh, three to two. Luke gets the points. Nice, Luke. <laughs> oh. That was a good one. That's the reason I, <laughs> Garrick, I am happy I sold you my all this stuff to get that money. That gave me yep. the game. <laughs> yep, that did give you the game. I was wondering why that was so expensive. That makes sense. Dang. That uh, mine, I did not. I did not meet mine. I needed the most luxuries and I have zero. Oh, yes, I completely agree. Bingo supremacy. That is, you can't stop the bingo. Hall. Bingo hall right here. <laughs> oh, Tom, I'm glad you enjoyed the table battle stream. Yeah, it's I was going to address that in a second. Game. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed that, Tom. Thanks for uh, the kind words. I'm glad, I'm glad you enjoyed it so much. You 
bought it because I love that game. Well, the dino. Lily, what was this one you had? Company fraud. Tom, it's, Tom it's, probably. It's a blackmail bought, that's not good if you want the company to not die. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh. like if I was ready to kill the company and I had a good way out of it, that would have been fine. But I probably should have started a farm, and I didn't like a dummy. You were in a oh. tough spot. No, like I think after that first round when I had like what thirteen dollars going into the London seat or the family phase, I probably should have started a firm. But I couldn't really because I didn't have any like workshop. I had like the one workshop and you, you would have been able to offer to me. I would have jumped in and helped you. <laughs> I would have <laughs> yeah. I, I had like It's hard it's hard holding me, hands with you, Luke, when you control the bingo hall. <laughs> well it was it was <laughs> challenging because like part of me was like, oh I want to start my own firm. <laughs> but I also had these expenses that were just there. Yeah. That I had to make sure I could pay and not lose. And so Lily, your only option really would have been to take the buy workshop action instead and then end up with two workshops. Two. Yeah, but then it's, I wouldn't feel like... I it's I not know. ideal. Yeah. It's not ideal. You were in a tough spot. How do we feel like the rest of everything went? I thought it was a pretty good game. We still all f did really badly with our roles. Yeah, our roles are so freaking bad. I cannot believe how bad they are consistently. Like, if think if we had opened this up over here and also had gotten like we like we really had. I thought we were having a really good first term with the company, and like yeah, yeah. I was uh, yeah. I know the the weird thing with this one though is there was no incentive in the court of directors for Lily or Garrick to help the company do well. So it was kind of a weird, I guess, yeah. luckily Garrick was in the one place where you just always sail <laughs> yeah. pretty much, unless not sailing tanks the company and also wins you the game. So uh, like we actually didn't have anybody fighting against the company that much, but it was no. still, it was still hard to like easily coordinate a bit because yeah. of that, which was, it's good. It's very. I I love it when this game does that because it requires. Drew, you had uh, asked earlier why like I wasn't interested in the office, or, like the presidency at that time, and it was literally only because of this because I wanted to get the money and I didn't want to lose the riders. my riders. Yeah, yeah, that totally makes sense. I completely forgot about that law. So yeah, be, that was the reason why, because I was like, man, there's li like, this is not giving me four bucks that could help mm -hmm. me with now that you moved me to shipping. Like there was no to me, there was no point to not. <laughs> I wanted to keep them as in there as much as I could. Yep. Yeah, and I, I didn't even really need to move you to shipping. Um, not that it mattered at the end of the day, uh, just because the company failed when it did. But I really should have moved Garrick to shipping and moved you to director of trade. Uh, I just was concerned. I, I wanted you to control shipping so that we could like make sure the seas were shipping is more has more leverage over where sh like ships go if the company yeah needs since work. you since but you then I didn't end up putting any put money in there yeah which, you didn't put anything yeah which gives the director of trade all the power instead yeah I, yep. I should have reversed those two again not that it mattered but um, chairman's a hard position to be honest because you have to think about like a lot yeah of you have to think things. about all the cascading effects. Uh, it is really cool and really fun, but a lot of work. <laughs> there are certainly nights where, like, we're doing setup and and I get dealt chairman, and I'm like, oh, I was not in the mental headspace to do chairman right <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that Bengal purge was very interesting. How it affected yep. the game because yeah, it was both it really good was. and bad like it it helped the company survive last round but it also weakened the army for this round which it ended up well, not necessarily being the issue but it very it well was, could have been it was kind of a wash because right uh really really the the good thing was that they all died but like if it had succeeded in opening this then the company would have been more than enough to pay for the three officers yeah. that ended up dying so and i would have preferred that <laughs> <laughs> yeah right i wonder how so the long scenario like i feel like people are incentivized not to kill the company pretty quickly like they want it to at least so they can start building up stuff it's also a little harder to going. kill the company asap in 1710 not not like yep. super hard but it's a little harder um <laughs> we have done it 
We've done on it. Turn two. Yeah, <laughs> but it is. What much makes it harder again or easier? <laughs> oh, sorry, I meant harder. Harder, yeah. What makes it harder is just there's no firms weakening the the value of India. Oh, true. Uh, in general, the setup position tends to be a little less. Um, I don't know, tight for the company, I would say. And yeah, aggress- like, also just- aggressive to attacking the company with the elephant and everything, yeah. right? Or- yeah, you certainly don't well, start with an elephant on your doorstep, as I recall, isn't it? Like, uh, Yeah, the elephant is like, like somewhere kind of innocuous. But also, you don't start with company regions that you need to defend. So right. like, True. the elephant's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, and you don't even need to worry about it either way. But I think most importantly is the combination of these two orders starting closed and the director of trade not being in the game yeah. because there's no special envoy to open orders. Yeah. So you have yeah. to rely on the military, but then the military is the only thing defending yep. all of your. Yes. Ships. So it's like those two things together make it a very nasty. There's also a lot of unrest, a lot of unrest that happens in this one. Like because, yes, because that's of governor true. General, because yeah. of the governor general, he, he pumps out a lot of unrest too. So yeah, it's a it's a big tightrope that's not as present in 1710. I really like it. It's very interesting. I really want to play the full campaign because I I have a yep yep I have a feeling it's going to be my you know game mode of choice. Just yeah, you know, big and long and uh, yeah hard to play. Well, it'll be so interesting because those investments in like workshops or ships will like pay dividend. Like they will actually be worth the investment later on. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Because like I think, what? I think seventeen ten works well as a as a short scenario, uh, because it does tend to have a few turns of build up at least. And I think eighteen thirteen works well as like a, a super short scenario, just because it's it's just lightning round. You know, it's yeah. it's yeah. knives out from Cuba Libre sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, the full campaign I think would have a really good arc. That would be really cool. There's also yeah, the fact I, that like power isn't the same in 1710 compared to this one because this yeah. one you you get to round seven your power you get eight victory points if you win power which is crazy crazy yep you have that with a good retirement and you're like there's really no way yeah, for that's all to, you need basically yep a single retirement and win the power award just because like across four turns. Uh, like <laughs> the scores have been pretty consistently this low in eighteen thirteen. I don't think I've seen a score higher than like twelve in this scenario, and that felt kind of like yeah, a, a little bit of an outlier. Like like Luke's score feels kind of high, and part of it is because he started with four points. Yeah, four points um, had a hidden the, interest. This that is not quick enough to do more than that. <laughs> I, I'm also excited to see because I think while. And I'm curious if 1758 gives you a little bit more time, but I feel like with 1813, while firms are obviously you are given them and they're available right away, you still don't get a lot out of them because it's so short. Well, I feel like we could see something interesting in 1710 if you got to vote for deregulation on like turn two or three, yeah. around two or three. And yeah, then you had like- some, something about 1758 rubs me the wrong way. It doesn't feel like it sees the full potential of either the non-firm or the firm game. Uh, the, the full campaign, I'm hoping, delivers on that hybrid experience for me, where you have time... Now, what was the last time you played 1758, Garrett? I think, I think right before our recent break. So there was like a... What was it? Like a two-month break from the game that we took or something? Yeah. Uh, it was back in June, the last time we played it. Yeah, It'd be so, interesting to try it again. Yeah, we definitely should try it again with the new firm system. I don't know that the math of firms has actually changed that much, but I'm, I may not be giving it enough credit uh, for how it'll affect the 1758 game. I think, I thinking about it more, I think it might be the weird position the company is in at the start of 1758 that I'm not crazy about. I don't know. We need to play it again. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed 1758. Um personally, but I think it was very weird and rough at the time. Mm -hmm. Uh, I I guess I I enjoyed it because I feel like I saw what it could be once they fixed the firms, and I feel like the firms really sing at this point, and so I suspect that 1758 will be really fun. 
Um, but I, I don't know. Well, I, I think at some point soon ish, we should try it now that firms are kind of locked in. A yeah, bit we should definitely more. try it again. Uh, General Jack, to answer your question, I honestly think it's easier to jump from 1710 to 1813. Uh, because you don't I have agree. to deal with the fiddle of deregulation to then get to firms. You just have a firm and you have to deal with it and learn it right away. And that's also what first edi uh, edition suggested. Um, I mean, the names are all different, but basically it said, like, play the short scenario, which is basically the same as 1710 in terms of its, like, kind of scope and yeah. what you're allowed to do in it. And then after you're ready to move on, you play the late company scenario, which is exactly the same as 1813, like the private firms start and play and you can kind of do that right off the bat. Uh, and then the equivalent of the 1758 scenario in first edition was like the ultra weird, like advanced game for, I, I think it literally called it for the, the scenario for advanced players or something like that, because it's, it's just very difficult to navigate well. And I think that's probably also true of 1758 in this edition. Yeah. Um, there's it's, it's on a weird tightrope and you have to really know, when deregulation benefits you and then you also have to like make sure the other players whom it benefits are you know have enough votes to pass it with you it's very interesting then also the calico um, acts are it's the hard thing that really well. drives it too yeah it and it starts with the calico acts which is very interesting I think one thing that's also interesting about 1813 is how director of trade starts out because that's such an office that just like like as you said, or sorry, not director of trade, sorry, uh, uh, superintendent of trade in China. Oh, if yeah. someone has that combo, they're just literally sending as much as they can into yep. that <laughs> so that they can get money. Remind me, does 1758 start with some regions conquered, but not with superintendent of trade in China? I don't uh, think it starts with superintendent. Well, it might have changed, but it, yeah, it does not have superintendent of trade. But it does have some uh, conquered I think regions, it has I think. one or I think two Bengal? regions conquered. Uh, Bengal is definitely open. I, I know Bengal is definitely Bengal open. I want to say Bengal is the one that's conquered. Yeah, yeah. that sounds right. Though, which kind of stinks because if you look at Bengal now, I don't know if this has changed, but Bengal's loot is six. Oh, compared to the other a, ones. The other ones a are big change. Huh. two and three. Across three. Interesting. So Bengal, like in 1710, is wow. a... Big old pile of cash at yeah, the beginning. Yeah, it's a big cash cow. Huh. Yeah, that's cool. I, I think I like the new loot numbers a lot. Yeah. Just by gut. Like, it didn't matter really this game that much. Uh, Poor Lily. You tried so hard to get all this extra cash. <laughs> you and get tried some so hard. <laughs> I tried. I tried real hard. And got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. What hidden interests did we have in the market? I'm curious. Ha, promises. <laughs> <laughs> oh, prime minister and a commander. Wow, those are those. That are... one's hard in eighteen ten. Yeah, must be prime minister and must be the well, commander. Lily had it. <laughs> yeah, Lily, Lily did it. have it. That's true. And then, Garrick, did you you had that one? I had you it had at some a... point. Do I still have it? Sorry, no, you have this, you you have this hit promises. Yeah, it looks like you I still mind. do have the most promises. You still do have it, because I turned in your office holder. Yeah. Bonus. Oh, man, that would have been disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quick question before. Sure. Which of these pr prizes do you guys like the most? I think... Um, I'm, I'm, st I'm a huge fan of this one, just for the cheapness of it and upkeep and everything. If you... But obviously, any of these up here, if you can just pay out to get to one of them, is really good. Right. I mean, they all. If you can get one of these, like, it's certainly worth it. Um, and then, like, the, the four to eight scales, you know, just straight linearly, just it's it's a double. So if you're going to if you can afford the eight, it almost feels like you may as well. I, don't, I, yeah. think, I think they all have their their place. I think the two gets underutilized because the London season display is so small. But I think it's very good that it's there for exactly the situation we saw today. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, uh, partly I think our group so far just undervalues this, uh, because like, honestly, only two pounds for a prestige card feels very cheap. Um, <clears throat> like often I, I have often seen, 
someone just pass this up rather than spending the two pounds, even though like the two pounds could have easily been afforded. Um, so I, I think that's part of it. But then the other part of it is this particular scenario makes it really good because of the firm treasuries. Yeah. Yeah. I, the only reason I, oh, I guess, I guess I could have, t- would I have been able to take one of these London seasons with my firm treasury? Uh, yeah, if we'd gone to yeah. a proper London season, you could have used the, the firm that's treasury special dividend. And see, and that's what I would have done if I yeah, had yeah, exactly. that. I would you have don't even taken, need to retire. You just, I would have probably have taken this in there. spouse if, if, if it yep. wasn't taken already by anyone else. I would have gone for that or something, obviously. But Yeah, I, I mean, you get the worst one. But honestly, I, I can't really think of a prestige card that I've seen in this game that isn't worth two pounds. Uh, I think Uh. just what mostly happens is, I mean, it's all contextual, right? But like if you, in a vacuum, if you don't need those two pounds for something more important, like I would always pay two pounds for just a random prestige card, basically. And some of them are, I mean, some of the victory points, if you're getting towards the end, are really worth it just to get the victory points. Like you can get a lot. (laughs) There's, um... There's a couple of the weaker spouses and, and enterprises that if you're tight on cash, I wouldn't overextend to sure. pick them up. Yeah, sure. But like, again, in, assuming you don't need your cash for something else. Uh, right. Which is with and again, with the, the private firm dividend spaces like that's fairly common, I, I would think. Just because it's so easy to get a firm going that is going to pay out at least two into. Yeah, I think it's more common uh, with firms. Space. I'm just thinking back to some of our, so interesting. I'm thinking back to some of our 58 and our 1710 plays where people were really cash tight, but they maybe had a retirement in like three bucks. And I think in those situations, like it made sense to not necessarily go for it with the wrong cards in the display. But, you know, right. it's it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, no, there there's often a big opportunity cost where like you have enough money to go to four and like, then it's definitely worth probably going to four and you only have one retirement. But, but I also like, I've certainly done it in 1710 where it's like, Oh, I don't want to like, I, I don't have enough money to retire to a good spot, but I don't want to spend two. And I probably could have spent two and it would have been worth it. So like, I, I think there's, I think we might undervalue it as a group a little bit. Um, It'd be really certainly in this scenario, it's really, really good. We also were playing a lot of like five player games. That's a good point, actually. Uh, you're right. There's a difference between, yeah, there's, I feel like I'd be so curious to do the, the long one at like just like four player, but then one at like six player yeah. and see the difference. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How scrappy you gotta be because you gotta try to make it. <laughs> that's the bigger thing is that the more. The more players, that's so interesting about John Company is that it just gets scrappier because you can't, like you're all working against each other and you're, mm-hmm. you have to throw around things. And, and it's so easy I to am, get forced out of the company. Yep. Yep. I am honestly insanely impressed at how well this edition of John Company scales from three to, I don't know if we've played a six player game yet, so I guess I shouldn't. I've watched a six player game. Soon. I think... I think six player is a little out there. Yeah, that actually now that I say now that I'm talking, I think I might backtrack a bit. But certainly like three to five is it's crazy how good all of those yeah. player counts are uh, just in different ways. Uh, and, and that was not true of the first. Edition. No, no, it was not. <laughs> well, I think we've um talked enough i'm tired of hearing your voices (laughs) (laughs) oh garrick i never tire of hearing my own voice (laughs) (laughs) well thanks y'all for playing thanks everyone for watching uh we'll be back with more whirly wednesday next week probably john company uh but in the meantime uh have a great night we will catch you next time see you then